it's November. I'm not used to this. <laughs> I am the only ATV here. Do they still make ATVs? Because everybody's got a side-by-side. -side. Anyway, we are out in uh, Lunenburg County in New Germany. Morning! Anyway, like I was saying, uh, New Germany. And we're gonna go on, I don't know, about a hundred clicks plus today. I think what I'm gonna end up doing, see I'm all bundled up, I got the big balaclava on underneath this, this no fog thing. Um, which I do have a little quick review on that thing. It's an old video, but it's still kind of worth watching. Uh, maybe I'll link that below, but... Yeah, it fits underneath my new helmet, which I'm happy about. Anyway, we'll see you guys out in the trail. Anyway, just discussing plans. I'd rather stay in the back, because there's a lot of side-by-sides. I might switch over to using my actual other camera and do some voiceover stuff because my voice at the end of this run will just be raw if I don't do that, so. Little bit of ice. It's about minus one Celsius. snow it's on the way I'll wipe off my visor here this will work getting all the spray from all these big tires in front of me I suppose I can back off some, but this is pretty. Huh. There's an old camp. You got a lock on it. The lock looks new. along the lines of if you got an old camp like that and there's not much value inside just leave it unlocked because people who want to get in are going to get in and they will most likely bust the door down to see if there's anything valuable inside but if your door is open That's pretty cool looking. Must be a man-made lake, possibly. I'm not quite sure. It's not a man-made lake, but certainly, well, I can't say that for sure. It looks like they might have opened it up, built a levee or something.
time. Here, running water down here from this dam. There's a pumpkin. <laughs> Somebody put a pumpkin way out there on that stump for some reason. I don't know. Okay. Just that's kind of weird and creepy. Random pumpkin head out in the middle of the woods. <laughs> oh my god, somebody go! <laughs> Man, do I ever look like the look of those YXEs. How can you not love that? I mean, it's just, it's not the right machine for me, but would I have one if I could afford one? Absolutely. at this camp here or what? I don't know. Everybody social distancing, we've got to wear a mask inside. Top and everything, like go ahead, built solid. Nice, nice stove in the chimney. Is there? No, not in this one. Jeez. Look at the stove. Oh, that's cute. Wow. That's quite the chimney. Yeah, it's not going to rot out. Uh, no. That chimney's been there as long as I can remember. Although lately that's not that long. <laughs> Are those all water tanks or something? Yep, all well together water tanks. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah it's not going to rot it. Uh, no. No. This is a, uh, you've seen this in another video, but this is, if you haven't seen it before, this is a British World War II uh, mosquito plane crash site. Um, right here. 
1944, April 20th, 1944, uh, two British airmen uh, with the Royal Royal Air Force from Greenwood, Nova Scotia, uh, pilot, um, flight officer McCann, Hugh Edwards, uh, navigator, um, not quite sure what P.O. is, Brown James General, Gerald. Um, I'm thinking petty officer, but I might be wrong. See, it's uh, still November, so there's poppies everywhere, paying respects. So if you, if you see a chunk of video missing in this uh, in this compilation, it's because I just took uh, that white Armax 1000 for a rip, and. Uh, You'll see that in a separate video, but there was a beautiful trail that we just went through, so I do suggest looking at that review, even if you don't want to look at a review of a machine. Um, the trail, the scenery alone is beautiful. Yes, sir. Love it. Big size difference, though. Look at that. Look. Going back to an ATV side by side yeah there's a size difference there you can really feel that thing's weight all right I'm gonna grab a snack here I'll flip you over to the GPS there okay so there's your GPS coordinates for the plane crash site Hubcaps, which it actually still has. All right, on. I want to say it's called a British motor cap. Oh, is that right? It's a British cap. Oh, in a minute. It's got wooden suspension. They had a Briggs and Stratton engine on it, running the belt on the front of the transmission. Really? Is it here? Yeah. Oh my God. When we were told to look for it, we were told it was a coupe Caledonia military. Caledonia military. Hold Cal Caledonia Army. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta send this to my buddy. Well, that's what it would have been. They got. Uh, I got it on his tail. I got. I got, I got, I got pictures of the wheels, and then I went online and I researched the wheels, and I found. Yeah. And one of the ones actually still had a marking on it. I wonder how many speed it is. Yeah, this one you can still read. Still see. Or is that just? It might be a three-speed, one reverse. Yeah. Ashley McIsaac. Oh, his yeah. uncle has a, an old international. Must be from back in the 30s. Yeah. It's out in the woods like this, too. I'll have to send it to him and say it's good. This is our version. <laughs> you can make some buggy in it, not Yeah. I love the brake system. Yeah. <laughs> no shit, eh? <hey? laughs> That's it there, isn't it? Yeah, we're, yeah. 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 Ah, it's just a, it's just a clamp. <laughs> yeah, it's probably on a better room. Yeah. Well, it looks like 
Said they had a uh, Briggs and Stratton engine on it to move it. Well, she said they had a pulley hooked up. Every lever on the side of 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 the side Looks like lunchtime. Now you've seen this on my other videos as well. This is the old uh, cable tugboat. We're just doing a tour, a tour of all the relics. I'm gonna name this run Relics Relic or Relics Relics. That works. in there since last time. You in that window. Uh, no, I got I'm catcher Cody. No, Jeff's no. boy. <laughs> he was he was some happy that day. It's a nice run. I couldn't imagine running this thing with all the ca all the tension on that cable and you got to step on that brake right there. Yep. Oh yeah. You know what they're pulling the, the logs in the water. Yeah. So it's different than pulling them on on little catch on something. Yeah, yeah. Was, yeah. Oh yeah. That's a goddamn big drum right there. That's solid. <laughs> yeah, that's solid. Oh, it's heavy as hell. Oh yeah. You ever been here before? Oh, I've been, I've been here. I've been here. Uh, the only thing I haven't seen was the, uh, uh, the, the, the troop transport. Oh yeah. Yeah, just over the road here, if you win, there's an old, what's left of the old dam and the old wooden tugboat is in there. Oh, yeah. Not much left of that. <laughs> the only way you know it's what used to be his boat is you had to know how wooden boats were made. That's the only way you can tell him. Huh? <laughs> the, tugboat, the tugboat was pulled out so the guys could go to war. Because all the guys that were working in the woods were supposed to go to war. And they never made a gossip. Nope. They pulled over the war and they never put that in there. Another golf ball in there. Yeah. <laughs> oh, the rudder moves. Yeah, the rudder moves. The relic said that the crop used to move. No chance of hitting that one. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha. 
<laughs> I'm looking. I'm looking here. It's like run the cable up, run the cable back, run the cable here, and then you can pull it sideways. Oh yeah. Or backwards. Yeah. yeah. Pull it anywhere you want to go. It takes time. But <laughs> anywhere you want to go. Canada. idea what these are. Ryan, you probably haven't been here. I haven't been here. I was here last oh, two weeks ago for the first time, so. What are they, relic? Bunch of drying kilns? What's that? What are these? Bunch of drying kilns? No, they were... Yeah, relic will know more than me. He grew up here. They were going to raise deer in them or something. I don't know. It was weird. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Or mushrooms, or no, I've heard mushrooms. I've heard deer. I've heard Jer everything. German guy come over here and built this because he wanted to raise, uh, raise deer, red German deer. Who's yeah, he gonna put the deer in the bunkers? He's gonna breed them here and use that for a nursery. That's why there's uh, stoves there. Right on. Uh huh. If he didn't hear that. Uh, Bruce was saying that some German guy moved here. We got a lot of Germans in Nova Scotia. Uh, some German guy moved here and built these because he was going to raise like red German deer and use these as nurseries. That seems a little bit cruel. What do you got? Somebody's ID? No. Oh. These are, oh man, those are for like German ski goggles or Swedish ski goggles or something. This is all uh, tile, wall tile. That's, that's rock. Man. What do you think that is? Huh. Uh, non-hardening sealing compound for metallic thread. Oh, well, there you go. Oh, so it's straight. It's it's pipe dope. Pipe dope. Yeah. Just pipe dope. What's that big pack of cocaine over there? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, I guess we know where we're coming for the zombie apocalypse. Yeah, hey boy. Yeah. Make our own village right here. This would be awesome, man. Stay. What a perfect camp. <laughs> oh, my son, I'm telling you, if I had this in the woods, you'd be gold. Well, it could have been for growing mushrooms and selling mushrooms, too. We don't know. No clue. <laughs> That's... Okay, so if that shuts that way... Well, it's almost a little bit concerning because it looks like there's a lock from the inside. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah. These are cool.
Good job, fellas. Good job. Maritimes ATV Gathering is a uh, Facebook group. Well, it's a, it, a, a club, quote unquote, a club that uh, is a, uh, a Facebook group of just anybody and everybody who wants to get out and ride. Whether you have the Advan so-called trail pass or not, you can get out and ride with these guys. They hold rides all over, all over the province. Uh, whoever's on the Facebook page usually generates a, uh, a run and anybody local to that guy just ends up joining. So, awesome. Uh, cool to see. Well, it is the end of the video and I completely forgot to <laughs> record an outro. So, this is my outro, sitting on my couch here editing this video and talking on my phone. So anyway, that's why the audio is a little bit messed up, but I do appreciate your likes, your comments, your views. And for joining me on this run, I found this run particularly interesting just because of the pure fact we went to go see some really historical stuff around, um, uh, around Caledonia area. Germany area, so this was a good run for me, and I hope it was a good run for you, and you um, learned some history. Anyway, uh, my name is Rod Guy 88 I appreciate it. See you next run, guys. Rod Guy 88.